Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. It's good enough for me. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. That's good enough for me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pastor Chandler. I want to welcome you to worship in the virtual world. Uh, it is worship. Uh, and I'm glad that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to, to sit, um, 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 stand, uh, if you're on your exercising treadmill, uh, to join us in this time of worship as we continue to embrace God's presence with us. Uh, I know that things are difficult and times are changing constantly, but the one thing we can depend on is God being the same. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So let me make this declaration. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Would you join me this morning in a call to worship? Would you turn with me or, or just meditate with me on Psalms 91? Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For the Lord will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence and will cover you with his pinions. Under the Lord's wings, you will find refuge. God's faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Let us pray. God, you know my feelings. You see me lying down or sitting. You read my thoughts by day or night, in rest or in waking. You know my strengths or weaknesses. Before I can guess what the day will bring, you already know. I will respond. You are with me, around me, stretching out and helping me stretching out a helping hand. How you are here is not easy to understand. I often feel you are far away. Yet where could I go to really be away from you? Where can I run from you? It's you who created me with all my thoughts and feelings. You put me together as a human being for this mystery, mind, body, and spirit, I thank you for being simply me and for the wonder of all that you have made. Lord, it's hard sometimes to find a meaning in suffering, trials, and or death. There are so many ways of looking at it. And in the end, what's left? My own experience and you. Lord, help me to know you in all that. 
I sense and think and feel. Lead me along this way of doing good and guide me to joyful rest in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We have been talking about our craft. We, we have compared the way uh, um, society encourage each other uh, to be the best that they can be. I believe the Army even has a, a commercial, the all that you can be. It's, it's a, a promotion. It's, it's a way of, of inviting people to be a part of something special. God has been, been calling and calling the world for hundreds and thousands of years to come and be all that he created us to be. Mm. And, and so in, in doing that, he laid the foundation. And the foundation is, 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 is the Torah, is, is the commandments uh, that he gave us to govern and uh, uh, to guide our relationship with him, amen, and our relationship with each other. And so we must stand on these principles. We must stand on these rules and these guidelines. And, 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 and this is what uh, 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 improves our relationship. This is what keeps us focused on being all that we could be. And so in, 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 in the, the, the acronym CRAFT, um, we find there's a calling. So, so God is calling to us. You know, he sent John the Baptist into the wilderness. He, he sent the prophets before him. And then, then Jesus came. And, and, and through all of the, the, the transition, uh, God is sending this message that, that I'm calling out to you. Mm. And so even now in the 21st century, we, we, we find that, 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 that this call is still going forth. And so we need to answer the call. We need to, to, to reach and strive for, for, for righteousness, and, uh, a right relationship with God. Huh? That requires us to do certain things. Uh, we have to answer the call. We have to surrender ourselves unto the Lord. And then there's this word obedience that takes place. And we must obey the Ten Commandments. We must obey God's instructions for our lives. Mm. Yeah, and then, then there's, there's faith. That, that, that begins to, to, to swell up in us and, 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 and it begins to, to well up inside of us and it changes how we see things. It changes how we see ourselves and how we see our relationship with God now and, and our relationship with man. And, and we also begin to see that, 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 that what he has called us to do come into focus. Uh, hallelujah something. One thing about faith, faith causes you to, to focus and, and, and the more you focus, the less you give in to, to distraction. The, uh, the less uh, the, the message of God and the, the commandments of God are distorted and, and we become more understanding of, of, of how much he loves us and, and how much he's given us and just how precious the gifts are that he gave us to live our lives by, hmm, my Lord. As we travel through this pilgrim land, hallelujah, somebody, I remember the saints talking about it. I didn't understand it, but, but, but now as I'm aging, I'm understanding that, 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 that we have a limited time. Uh -huh. Uh, a man who is born of a woman, hallelujah, has but a few days is what the scripture says, hallelujah, uh, because we're here for a moment and, and, and the next moment we are gone. Hallelujah, somebody. So, so, so as we get older and as we move towards that place where it's time to go, hallelujah, somebody, it seems that God has a way of bringing things into focus. Mm. And that's what happens in, in, in our faithfulness. When our, when our faith grows now and becomes action, hallelujah, somebody, and, and you see all of the things that we believe in governing the way we act, uh, uh, all the things that we believe in begins to govern the way we respond, hallelujah, somebody, the, all of the things that, that, that we have now grown, hallelujah, oh my Lord, mm. and embraces us, is what governs our day-to-day -day action. Uh, it's because we, we're moving to a place. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. We, we are moving to, to a place called fulfillment. 
And, and we began to, to, to understand that, 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 that everything God said about us, everything that God said we would do, hallelujah somebody, everything that God said would come to pass, we, we began to see it coming to pass. And this is, this is what we call fulfillment. Uh, to be fulfilled. There, there are a couple of different definitions uh, for, for fulfillment. Uh, one of them is uh, the, the, the meeting of a requirement or condition. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. A requirement. God requires us uh, to love him with our whole heart. He requires us that, 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 that we keep his commandments. Uh, he requires us uh, Come on, somebody, to pray without ceasing. He, he, he requires us to rightfully divide the word of truth, uh, proving ourselves to God. Hallelujah, somebody. We, we have a tendency to prove ourselves to ourselves and, and maybe to others, but, but, but what, what happens when, 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 when we need to prove ourselves to God? Hallelujah. Uh, it, it, it takes us to this place called requirement. Mm. As much as we often do things the way we want to do them. We are always, uh, I don't understand it. Uh, I've been caught up in the same thing. We, 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 we are surprised when it doesn't work out the way we hoped they worked out. it would work out. It's because we did not meet the requirements. Uh, we took a shortcut. You know how we'll do. We'll, we'll, and I learned something in life, and I don't know if you've learned it yet or, or if you've shared it with your, your, your young people or the people coming behind you, but, but I learned that in life, every shortcut that you take is the long way around. Mm. If we just meet the requirements, that's, 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 that's that, 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 you know, God has even given us rules, right, that, that, that helps us through those moments when we think the requirements are, are not fair. When we think the, the, the requirements are overwhelming, hallelujah, somebody. Uh, when we think the, quiet, the, the requirements are, are, are coming against us, hallelujah, somebody. Uh, the Bible declares in, in, in Romans 8 and 28, and I shared this with you last week, that all things work together <laughs> for the good, for the good. And I could even put in for the fulfillment, hallelujah, somebody, uh, yeah, 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 because, because God has, has promised us something. He said, if I be for you, uh, who can be against you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, the, the, these are, 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 are embedded in the requirements. Uh, in the requirements, there, there, there is a safety zone. There, there is a, a, a place where you can dwell. That's what I was reading about in the, in the book of Psalms, that uh, they that dwell in, 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 in the house of the Almighty. Hallelujah, somebody. They, they that dwell under his wings. Though The, the, the Bible declared that, 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 that the requirement is we got to dwell. That's the requirement in that statement. You, you have to dwell. You, you can't just be darting in and, and darting out. You, got, you, have to, you have to dwell. You have to spend time in God's presence. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and, and so then we, 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 when we don't meet the requirements or, or when we meet the requirements, then, 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 then we understand that that, that that changes the condition, that the, the, the prerequisite of condition is requirement. Hallelujah, if you will. Uh, if you don't meet the requirement, why are you surprised that the conditions are the way they are? Hallelujah, somebody. If you're not praying, if you're not studying, if you don't exercise discipline, if you're not being obedient, why do you uh, uh, why are you surprised that your life is in shambles? Why, why are you surprised that, 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 that you're not finishing anything that you start? Why, why are you surprised, hallelujah, that don't nobody like to be around you for long? Uh, why are you surprised, hallelujah, that, 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 that you feel like that you're not going to make it? Hallelujah, it's because you haven't met the requirements. Mm. Or you're lacking in the requirements. And so the conditions that you hope for, you cannot reach. You can see them and, and you know what it should be, but, 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 but you can't get there because you have not met the requirement. Mm. God said, how can you say you love me who you've never seen uh, uh, and yet you don't love your brother who you see every day? We must meet the requirements if we want the fulfillment. 
You know, many of us want the, 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 the cart before the horse, but, but the cart doesn't pull the horse. The, the horse pulls the cart. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and the horse's name requires it. Uh, you gotta fast. You, you gotta pray. You gotta study. You gotta spend time with God. Hallelujah. You, you gotta cut off the television. You gotta sit down that phone and get off of the computer and stop watching TikTok. Hallelujah, somebody. You gotta meet the requirements. God needs your attention. He, he wants your undivided attention. Mm, in order that, 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 that you might get the fulfillment that He promised. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he promised. Uh, uh, us something. Uh, he promised us that there would be a condition. And the condition, one of the conditions he promised us was this, uh, no weapon shall f that formed against you shall prosper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you believe in him, because you trust him, because you abide in him, uh, because you, you abide in his words and, and you study and, and you practice what you preach. And you practice what you teach. Yeah, and you, you keep God's commandments. And, and so therefore, uh, in doing so, uh, uh, no, no, no devil in hell could alter your conditions. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you've met them. You've met people like this. Uh, I don't understand how they made it. Uh, uh, how did they, uh, 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 six months ago, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were predicted to have cancer, uh, uh, and they was uh, uh, they had that reached stage four, but but yet here we are six years down the road, and and they are still standing with us. They're still testifying to the goodness of God and His ability to heal us. Hallelujah, somebody! If you just trust in Him, Hallelujah! And so 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 the requirement is trust, so that the condition can be healing. Hallelujah, somebody! The, re the requirement is trust, so the condition can be success. The requirement is trust so that the condition is hope. Hallelujah. God said, I, I know the plans I have for you. And it is a plan of prosperity, a, a plan for a good future, a plan for hope. But there is requirement. The fulfillment is, is, is what God promised us. Uh, that is the fulfillment. Uh, but, but there's work for us to do. Hallelujah, somebody. God said that he would be faithful. The Bible even has a scripture uh, that, that, that uh, Alvin Slaughter, I believe, sang about. Uh, uh, and, and in the name of the song is, I will run to you. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and, and he, 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 he derived that, if I'm not mistaken, he derived that, 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 that concept uh, from a scripture that says, everyone who runs to God will make it. Hallelujah, somebody. So the requirement is you got to run. Hallelujah, somebody. You, you got to run like you're running for your life. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. In order to make it, you got to run. Oh, you got to answer the call on your life. Uh, you, you have to manage the relationship with God. Hallelujah. You have to trust in God in that relationship and, and do the things that's required of us so that our relationship is a healthy relationship. It is a spiritually healthy relationship. Strong in the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. And in the power of his might. That, that, that's where we want to stand. That, that's where we want to hang our hats. That, that, that's where we want to testify. That, that so that we might uh, arrive at the condition, hallelujah, where, 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 where no matter what comes up against us, hallelujah, somebody, oh, glory to God. No, no matter what the enemy throws our way, hallelujah, uh, we can be like Job and, and we can say, yet though he slay me, I will trust him. Uh, uh, no, I can't see where he is now. No, I can't feel him. And, and yes, my body is wracked with pain. And, and yes, I have to deal with COVID. And, and yes, I got to deal with sickness and disappointment. But, but, but that does not mean that my God is not with me. It does not mean that I'm walking through this condition alone or, or I'm going through these changes alone. And, and so in the midst of it, God has given me strength. In the midst of it, God has given me power. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To speak those things that are not as though they already are. Hallelujah, somebody. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because, because within me is the word that says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I, I can't see it, but because I meet the requirements, I know uh, soon, or, or, or as the old folk would say, or as the saints used to say, after a while and by and by, I know my change is going to come. Hallelujah, somebody. I know my change is going to come. And, 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 and the change uh, lends itself to condition. And condition, hallelujah, for God is fulfillment. Uh, he says that, that, that the heaven and earth will pass away uh, before one jot or one tittle of my word fails. Hallelujah, somebody. Ah. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Fulfillment in God is a safe place. Fulfillment in God is a challenging place. Uh, fulfillment mm, in God is a pleasing, rewarding place. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for uh, this opportunity to, 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 to come together in your presence, to worship, Lord God, still together. To, to be able in this time, oh God, that we live in, to understand and respect uh, your requirement of us not to forsake the assembly of the saints. So you have provided yet another way for us to come together and worship you and to be in your presence and to be with each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Until we come together again, go and serve the Lord with great joy.